Hey, my name is Mateusz and in this video I'm going to show you how to do keyword research so you can get more views on YouTube with a 100% certainty even if you're just starting out or even if you only have a small channel with only a couple of views. So to do keyword research we're going to use a tool called vidIQ and this is a tool I use. So if we go into vidIQ here you'll see many different tabs here you basically search for keywords and you can see if they're in demand how much traffic is going on there and basically you can determine which questions are the ones people are searching for to get answers to and let's say we talk about how to grow on YouTube we first just enter YouTube and you're gonna see this so here is the search volume and here's how much competition there is. So a lot of people are searching for this and there's a lot of competition also. There's a lot of videos being made. And VidIQ basically creates a score depending on the balance of these two metrics and rates your video. And whenever a video is above medium, so here in the green zone, you can basically make them and expect pretty good results right off the bat. But for this one, if we just wanted to talk about YouTube, the competition is way too high. Now the problem with broad topics like YouTube or how to grow on YouTube, the topics that have a lot of traffic but also a lot of competition is you can enter in them if you have a lot of subscribers and views already and you have a reputation already built on YouTube and you can get traction that way. But if you are a small channel, you have to look for certain topics that don't have high competition and that way you can enter in and automatically get views even though you are not big enough yet, you don't have a reputation yet and you don't have any credibility on YouTube yet. So how can you find topics to cover that have high search volume or medium search volume but very low competition so you can enter the market? Well, here's how you do it. So first you start out by entering a keyword that's very broad, like YouTube. If we want to talk about how to grow a YouTube channel, we enter YouTube. And then you've got these tabs here. So overview, related keywords, matching terms and questions. Basically, each one of them provides a different set of keywords that you can use in your research. If you go under related keywords, you're gonna find all the keywords that are related to people searching YouTube. If you go to matching terms, VidIQ is going to show you all the keywords that include the word YouTube in the keyword phrase. So YouTube automation, YouTube SEO, YouTube automation as niches, YouTube keyword research. And here you can already see we are finding some pretty good topics. So for example, YouTube SEO, it's a good topic. So we copy it to clipboard, we open another tab, just copy it in and we got YouTube SEO. So here the search volume is very high and the competition is low which is good for a beginner channel to, to go in. And the last tab here is questions and this one is also very powerful because you can find pretty specific topics already by searching a broad keyword here. If you click on overall we get all the questions that people are asking for each month on YouTube and we rank them by vidIQ score. So basically here we can find how to add chapters to YouTube video, how to get a transcript from YouTube video. And these are all really good topics to cover and you can basically just uh, answer the question in a video and make a video about it and it's gonna work pretty well. Now. You have to understand something with these keywords and it's that even if there's not a lot of traffic in a certain keyword phrase and the competition is still very low, it still pays off to make videos about uh, those topics. Basically, if you're a small channel gaining 1,700 views per month through one video and multiplying this by 20, it's gonna grow your channel pretty fast. Now one thing you have to be careful of when you are doing this type of research is the search intent. So not all search terms that appear under related uh, keywords or matching terms are going to be people searching for the exact topic you cover. So an example here is 
I may want to, let's say, make a video about ChatGPT uh, for YouTube SEO. And I see here it's uh, 12,000 monthly visitors and it's got pretty low competition. That means it's a good topic, but it could be that people are not searching for ChatGPT for YouTube SEO, but normal SEO. And if I make a video about YouTube SEO, that is not going to work that well because the people are searching for a different thing. Yeah, these are all about websites, website SEO, not YouTube SEO. So it could be that the video that you'd make about YouTube SEO wouldn't work targeting this keyword uh, or it could be that maybe it would work because there's no videos about YouTube SEO on with ChatGPT yet. So one other method of using keywords is also when you're down here looking for different search terms, you can basically find some, some search terms that are gonna make you have more ideas. So for example, let's say YouTube Studio Setup. This could be interesting. It's got high uh, traffic and medium competition, but if we go to related keywords and rank it by overall uh, score, maybe we can find some stuff that people are searching for. So look, for example, Sony A7C. This is a camera used for YouTube, YouTube recording. Uh, it's got a lot of traffic and very low competition. We can just copy it in, see what people searching for Sony A7C are looking for. So hands-on review, uh, is it worth it in 2023? So maybe a video about is it worth it in the next year would be good. Uh, review, comparison. And so if we, for example, if we go to uh, Sony A7C, we're gonna open this up. We go to related keywords and now we are finding really good keywords. So A7C2, FX3, pre-order, da da da, matching terms. We got the versus video. So uh, versus, this versus that, this versus that, um, and so on. So you can get tons of ideas and you know which ones are gonna work because you know how much traffic goes to each idea. So you can use vidIQ to um, get certain topics, see what people are searching for, generate ideas, and know how much search traffic uh, would be going to your channel if you made a video in a specific niche that's got very low competition and very high search traffic. So this is what we're looking for. So let's say we're making a video about Sony A7C. And so now that we found a topic, we just create a script for the video, record it, and we're done, right? Wrong. So this is the problem most people have when creating videos. They write the script first, they record the video, and then they do the title and the thumbnail and the positioning of the video. But the positioning of the video is the most important part because you have to decide, are you going to make a this versus that video, a Sony A7C versus another camera video? Are you going to make a how-to video, how to use the Sony A7C. Maybe you can make a review video, a review of the Sony A7C. So before you go create the video and create the script, you have to decide on the overall positioning and the goal of the video so you know what to write the script about. And when you find the topic and select the positioning, for example, comparison video, create the script, create a video, create a thumbnail, and then post it on YouTube. So when it comes to posting a video on YouTube, YouTube actually has a priority list on what it looks at first in terms of title, description, and tags. And the thing is, it first looks for relevant keywords in the title, and the title carries the most weight when it comes to someone searching for it on YouTube. The description comes next, so you have to fill out a lot of keywords in your description, and then the tags come third. The tags are the least important, and you cannot rank your videos just by filling in the right tags and not including them in the description or the title. So for example, if we look at one of my videos, this is a video that I made about how to get a transcript from a YouTube video in two minutes. And you can see 
There were a lot of keywords that I included in this video. For example, get a transcript from YouTube video, get transcript from YouTube, how to get a transcript from YouTube video, full guide. If somebody searches for full guide on how to get a transcript from a YouTube video, my video is going to show up. And here I also have YouTube transcript tutorial because some people may search for that. YouTube transcript is a specific keyword that they search for too. And I maxed out 100 out of 100 keywords. And if we look at the description, same thing. I show you how to get a transcript from a YouTube video, how to copy and download transcript from the YouTube video. By the end of it, you will know exactly how to copy transcript from YouTube and how to get the transcript on YouTube video. So basically, I try to include as many keywords as possible in the description and in the title already. But there's one thing you have to be careful here, and it's that YouTube punishes channels that just put a lot of keywords in their description without making it sound human. So you have to write a description that sounds human, that basically makes sense uh, and still put in as many keywords as possible. Because if you're just gonna uh, put in just the keywords without the context, YouTube is gonna flag your uh, video and it might also delete your channel. And that's what we don't wanna do. Now. Then you can go down to tags, just add all the tags in the video. And there was one more thing with SEO optimization that not a lot of people know. So your chapters also get picked up by the algorithm. When people search for specific keywords or topics on Google, for example, Google is going to show specific parts of your video that were assigned that keyword. So for example, if, I, if we look at one of my videos here, uh, each of these chapters, for example, how to add YouTube chapters manually, timestamps don't work on YouTube, how to add chapters on YouTube automatically. Each one of those is if a person searches for it on Google, my video could show up and with the highlight of the specific uh, video part that is answering their question. Uh, also, if we look at this, for example, a uh, guide on setting up a Canon EOS R, if we search for each of these topics that he has in the chapters, we'd be able to get a chapter from his video to answer one of our questions. So this is a really good way to get in your video seen also outside of YouTube and get those, that traffic coming in from many places. Uh, not just through the YouTube algorithm. My name is Mateusz and we help business owners get on YouTube in less than three hours of their time per month. They just do the filming and we do everything else, the thumbnails, the tiles, the design. So if you are a business owner and want to grow on YouTube but don't have the time, you can contact me below. Otherwise, if you just want to grow on YouTube, subscribe and watch our next video here and I'll see you there. Thanks.